All right, man, let's talk about Jose Zapata taking on Regis Progress. Apparently, Regis Progress and Zapata was not picked up by PBC top rank match room. Uh, somebody else picked it up. I think it's going to be on uh, through Fight TV pay per view this Saturday after uh, Thanksgiving. I believe TFE Lopez. Damn, they charging 60 bucks. I thought this shit would be like 40 bucks. Damn, they charging the 60 ball for that hoe. I was going to think about buying it. I, I, I might get it, bro. Just support both guys. I met uh, Zapata in, in Vegas. Um, and uh, Regis is, is a good dude, man. But damn, 60 bucks. So Dylan White fight this week, too. So I don't know. But I watched the Regis and Zapata. But damn, I know it's for the 60 ball, though. But I do my part in promoting it. How about that? Sixty dollars. You got Chelsea Clinton, <laughs> but uh, they got Regis man. Uh, they fighting in uh the old Stub Hub Center, Dignity Health uh, Sports Park now. Um, they both softballs. Had to double check that. Uh, Zapata got a knockout ratio of sixty nine percent. Regis got a knockout ratio eighty two percent. Uh, Zapata got what? 27 knockouts, 35 and uh, two. He got stopped one time. He got robbed by Jose Ramirez one time. I don't, I don't care. He got stopped by Flair Flanagan, but he has suffered a, a dislocated sh shoulder. So uh, he suffered a dislocated shoulder versus Terry Flanagan. Never got a chance to avenge that loss. So yeah, he dislocated his shoulder. He is uh, 33 years old. Regis, 33 years old. Uh, might be two of the bigger punchers in the division. Uh, I think Zapata and Monty had the fight of the year by versus Ivan Boroshnik. Um, were that during the pandemic? Um, Regis Progress, I mean, he probably, a lot of people might consider him number two in the division, maybe number one after that Josh Taylor performance he just had. Um, but very inactive. He's been fighting once a year since, 20, since the pandemic. Fought on with PBC one time, then with the trailer. Um, he had three straight stoppages since the uh, Josh Taylor fight. So, since three years ago, he's only fought two times or three times. And before, you know, this year, this would be the second time he fought this year, you know, with Probellum. So, you think, you know, with Probellum, you know, you thought him and Al Heyman would have a relationship. I think that's Richard Schaefer joined. But at the same time, Richard Schaefer, um, Al Heyman don't have. Don't have no network right now. A lot of the fights that they rumored that Al Heyman is, you know, going to be doing is on pay per view. You know, so you see how that go. A lot of the fights that they rumored that he's going to be a part of is going to be on pay per view. So that's something to kind of chew on uh, for a minute. A lot of his shit going to be on pay per view. But uh, be yeah, it reaches five eight, sixty seven, and art seven inch uh, arm length. He lost once to Josh Taylor. Some people said it was disputed. I thought it was a thorough ass whooping. Um, you know, progress. I mean, uh, Zepeda, 5'8", 70 and a half inch arm. So he got a three and a half inch arm advantage. You know, Regis Progress, one of them fighters. He had to fight at his own pace. I mean, even with Josh Taylor showed that if he have to, if he's forced to step his pace up, he can step his pace up. You have to heavy handed fighter, heavy with both hands, Zepeda. Heavy-handed fighter, pretty heavy with both hands. So, to me, um, you know, I think Regis Progress is the fresher fighter. Um, you know, honestly, I think uh, they both caught around the same type of resume. I mean, the Paters might be better, but he fought the best in the division at Josh Taylor. Um, fought in Dongo, Joel Diaz. He fought Terry Flanagan, beat him. So, they're about the same. They're about the same. Maybe you can get the, the, the nod to, you know, Regis. But he fought Hank, Hank Lundy. He ain't stopped Hank Lundy ass. He stopped that hoe. Uh, Ivan Barashnik, he stopped him. So, yes, yeah, around the same. He fought Jose Pedraza. Lost Ramirez. I thought he won. Lost to uh, Terry Flanagan with a dislocated shoulder. So, I mean, yeah, he got some, you know, he's about the same, man. Both battle tell It mattered the network couldn't pick this up. You know what I'm saying? Because this is this a good fight. Everybody should be able to see this fight because it's two punchers. Two big boy punchers, too, dude. And 
Um, both could punch. Uh, you know, so I mean, honestly, um, I think Reed is probably going to be favored in it in this battle. Uh, you know, the painter had that that drag out war with uh Baroshnik, and Reed just had a hell of a war with Josh Taylor too. So, um, trying to see if they have a sp yeah, sports book so. The paid is a plus 300, so he's a nice underdog here. And uh, Regis is a negative 430. So if you bet 100 on Zepeda, you win 300. You got to bet 430 on 100 right now on FanDuel to win 100 off Regis. So he's the favorite. So, uh, but, you know, honestly, I think that, uh, I think I would say this is a 70 30 fight towards Regis. I mean, if Regis loses this fight, then. I wouldn't say his career is necessarily over, but I think he started getting a lot of phone calls to be an opponent. You know, that's what I think he has started getting being getting some phone calls to be in the uh, to be an opponent. So that's what I really think. So um the Panthers was Zafner. Uh so but uh but yeah, I mean I I mean I both stop straight. I mean, Zepeda ain't really technically never been stopped. He had a dislocated shoulder. So that's something to think about. But I, I still give it to Regis Progress. Uh I think Regis might, you know, score a knockdown in there. And I, I think he'll 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 get a unanimous decision by three or four points. Um so that's kind of how I think how we really think it's gonna go. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be a uh, – I think it could be competitive, but I think that style, kind of that slick style of, of, of Regis Pro Race is going to cause some issues for uh, Jose Zapata. So, yeah, I think it will cause a lot of issues for Zapata. Uh, you notice the guys that he fought, it ain't too many brothers on, on – uh, it ain't too many brothers on his resume. You know, you look Henry Henry Lundy he went the distance with him. Should have went the distance with Henry Lundy. He's like fifty thousand years old, so it ain't too many brothers on his resume, bro. And you know, Regis got fast hands. You know, you say, well, how could he beat Regis Progress? Uh, and you know, while fighting him, you see Josh Taylor kind of like bullied him a little bit, but he just big as hell. That's the problem. <laughs> the pain ain't big as him. I still next to both of them. He ain't as big as him. Josh Taylor about my height, damn near. If not. But I think when Regis progress, you can, you can punch with him. Keep that jab working. I think go to his body. He liked to throw these, you know, he kind of like, he throw very predictable combinations. It's kind of like he, like a robotic. I can't really explain it. It's kind of like his combinations, they fast, but they predictable. He's kind of repetitive, but he's kind of robotic, bro. It's kind of like his, you know, it's kind of like he throw the same shit, the same angle, the same speed. You know what I'm saying? If you let him get in the comfort zone, he going to, like, he kind of paces himself. He kind of throw the same kind of, kind of same repetitive combinations. So if you can time him, you can break that up with a jab. But I just think he had to punch with him. I think Connor and Regis progress might be the key, but the thing about it is he take his time, too. And he explode all at once. So, you know, a good jab breaking up his combination, you know, I think that might be the ticket. But, um, yeah, I think countering him might be the ticket. I mean, you can pressure him, but he can punch. And he'll work up and down all day. And then for Regis Progress, I just think being him. I think if he makes a, mix, makes a jab up in his attack, a consistent jab, he'd be that much dangerous. You know, I think you got a guy that got good knockout power. You got a guy – who've been battle-tested, ain't been in there with too many people that's as slick or athletic, you know, like you. Usual athleticism, I beat the body, beat the body, then kill the head. So, you know, I think for Zepeda, it's going to be about, you know, throwing that jab in them combinations, getting that jab working, you know, using your length and punching and countering, and countering, uh, and countering them. So I think countering. But I got uh, Regis winning. I think he dropped him one time. That might be the difference. Three point victory. 
Um, but yeah, that 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 arena they fight in is is produced some legendary fights. So, but damn, I didn't know that shit was for the sixty ball. But I got reaches by unanimous decision. But as a pay this uh, one, you know, would I be kind of hundred percent uh, surprised? I'd be surprised a little bit. I'd be surprised a little bit, but he got he can punch. You know, you know, but I just don't think uh, it's a pay to fight a lot of athletic slick fighters like Regis Progress. So I don't think he fought a lot of those type of slick. But I'm a fan of both. But damn, I didn't know they were charging 60 boy, 60 ball. But I guess, see, you know, is that really going to deter people from buying a pay per view? $60, $40? He might as well have went for the gusto. So I feel him on that. So, yeah. It is what it is. I got, you know, uh, Regis, the uh, unanimous decision, about three points, two or three points. I think a knockdown is going to be the difference late. Um, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Go, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash out dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Uh, you find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Link to the first link in description. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.